mum was very big on the idea of me having to look a certain way. And for someone like her, the best chance of feeling good about yourself was about spending money on your appearance. If I met a girl and she had like acne, I would think, that's disgusting, why didn't she just pay a dermatologist to get rid of it? So it's this really weird mindset when you have a lot of money that you think that everything can be solved by money. This one I got for my birthday, Louis Vuitton. Everyone has this, so I don't mind if it gets a little bit dirty, so I take it on the tube and stuff. The Celine, which is like one of my favorite bags ever. And this is my pride and joy, which I had to fight really hard to get. It's the Hermes Birkin, and it's the love of my life. And I never use it because I'm so scared of like ruining it. It's net worth, if I do resell it, is literally what some people earn in a year. It's terrifying. <laughs> My dad noticed that there was quite a lot of cash being taken out every week from my bank account, you know, my bank card. And he kind of asked, you know, what's the deal? Because it's not going on food, it's not going on public transport. What's it going on? And um, I kind of broke down. I said, yeah, I've been doing a whole lot of fucking cocaine. Uh, and he said, OK, let's have dinner. We've got to talk. And I was absolutely convinced that he was going to cut me off disown me, get me out of his will, send me to Israel, make me join the IDF. I was convinced that this is it, like I was done. Um, and so we start having dinner and sort of halfway through, he still hasn't said anything and I'm kind of freaking out. And he's like, why are you so nervous? I'm like, well, you know, I admitted to you that I do cocaine and that I'm buying cocaine with your money. What are you gonna do? And he kind of looked at me and he laughed and he said, oh yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I am going to up your allowance. And he didn't say anything about the fact that I was doing cocaine. He didn't say anything about his daughter, who just turned 18, who'd moved away to London, was doing cocaine. He just didn't say anything about that except giving me money. And I don't know if that's enabling or if that's kind of just because he doesn't care. But I don't think it's that. I think it's just because in his mind, the smartest thing to do, the best way to react, was, as always, with money. Hi. <laughs> Just come in. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, how are you? When I first met Vic, I didn't really know how much you did at the time. And then when I actually did find out, I was pretty, pretty shocked because you carried yourself like quite a normal functioning human being, but it was sort of always there. And then it came to a head, I guess, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, it was quite recent. It was pretty recent where I just yes. like, I was having quite a bad night anyway. And I just said, sometimes I don't know if I'm dating you or Coke. So do you think he's the reason why he kind of slowed down? He's not, I mean, obviously I'm doing it for myself and my health and stuff, but he is the reason that he kind of kick-started it. He was the triggering factor for me to go, this is it. Like, I'm obviously doing too much. I'm spending too much money, spending too much time, too much energy. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, thank you for that. I never, like, actually properly thanked You're you. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't want to be the kind of person that blames all of her problems on her upbringing. I have the power to change and I have the power to be a more responsible person and a more appreciative person.